Hi, I'm Sean Bolin. You might recognize me from movies such as Trey Beyonce and Tarzan. Here is an amazing book, Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. In the book, Their Eyes Were Watching God, there are four main characters. One just happens to be Janie. Janie is like a kite, flying free. Then on the other hand, there's Logan. He is like a moldy piece of bread. He's moldy, old, and not very nice to look at. No wonder Janie left him. Then we've got Joe. He's like a tuxedo. He's a businessman. He knows his business. Very nice. Too bad he died. Over here we've got Tea Cake, our final character. He's like a big casino, but people walk in, no walk out. Janie falls in love with a lot of men. Some rich, but some not so much. Logan has a lot of land, but it's not very rich. Then there's Joe. He's got a lot of money, but he leaves it all for Janie. Very nice. And then there's Tea Cake. Poor, but very likable. Janie met each of her men in a different way. Her marriage to Logan was arranged by her grandmother. She met Joe right in front of Logan's house. Kind of suspicious, eh? And she met TC in Joe's store after he died, of course. So we're married now? Yeah. So what do we do now? I'm not sure. Get to work now. Jenny, I'll put you in a high chair. Nah, get up! I own you! So how do you guys, you guys know Janie, right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Okay, so what do you think about her being married to Logan? He's Hilks. disgusting. That is so wrong. Old He's guy old. married to a young girl. Sick. What did you guys think about Joe? It seemed pretty cool at first. I thought it just went downhill. <laughs> what about Cheat Cake? He's really good for her. Singular. He's a really good guy. Until he got rabies. Yeah. yeah. Hello there. I was just catching up on my reading a little bit. I suppose you're here to talk about my favorite book, Their Eyes Were Watching God. I believe the best way to learn about a book is simply to hear parts of it. So let's begin. As you know, there are three main characters that Janie likes in this book, Joe, Logan, and Tea Cake. Let's listen to a little bit of how she describes them. Then, too, she noticed how baggy Joe was getting all over, like bags hanging from an ironing board. He looked like some old skull head in the graveyard. She looked him over and got the little thrills from every one of his good points, those full, lazy eyes with the lashes curling sharply away like drawn scimitars. So we know what they look like. Now let's hear about how she feels about them. I could throw ten acres of it all over the fence every day and never look back to see where it fell. Oh, I failed the uh, same way about Mr. Kicks too. She stood there until something fell off the shelf inside of her. He drifted off into sleep and Jeannie looked down on him and felt a self-crushing love. So her soul crawled out from its hiding place. Wow, that's some pretty deep stuff. Now we know that Janie is looking for love, but do any of the men fit her idea of marriage? <coughs> Janie thought that since she was marrying Logan, she would eventually love him. She knew now that marriage did not make love. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, we've heard what she thinks of them. Now let's hear what they think of her. 
Thank you for your compliments, but my wife don't know nothing about no speech making. Wow, we always knew Joe put Janie down, but I don't know if anyone expected that. What about tea cake? How about playing you in some checkers? You looks hard to beat. Being able to whip her reassured him in possession. Hmm, tea cake varies quite a bit in this book, but one thing's for sure, he did love her. But you have to wonder, what would have happened if he didn't die? Well, I guess that's all we can do, is wonder. Well, looks like we're out of time, so that from everybody here, thanks for watching.